Hey, what's up everybody? John Harper here with a, another City Skylines video. On this segment of uh, the show, I'm going to work on kind of finishing up the mall area uh, with some detailing. I just put in the uh, Best Buy and I uh, kind of wanted to finish up detailing that area um, over by the mall and kind of do a few other things to get everything kind of finished up over here uh, because uh, yeah just uh, kind of done with this area kind of want to move on uh, at the same time there's a lot that can still be done and there's land that I could still put some housing on and things like that but um, kind of want to move on and, and work on some other areas of the map and uh, yeah, um, so really that's about it. Um, kind of started the video with this cool roundabout I made last night. Put a lot of lights and stuff on it, give it a cool rainbow effect. Um, I think it kind of looks neat. Um, so this area has become kind of just the retail epicenter of the map. Um, kind of zoom out here for a second. Um, this whole area basically. Uh, couple weeks back was more or less empty. I started with the mall because I wanted the mall to be kind of a centerpiece and I kind of moved them, put the mall a little bit further away. Ended up having to build some roads to get people to come over to the mall. So brought a road over here um, from the main area, which is over this way of the map. So built some roads that would bring people over here. Uh, ended up kind of making some industrial areas uh, over here as well. Um, but uh, my main uh, thing that really took the most time is getting this mall complete. Used a lot of props. Um, as you can see, a lot of the roof props just kind of uh, disappear at times or whatever. Uh, when we make screenshots, we don't let that happen, of course. Um, but uh, yeah, basically finished with the mall itself. Um, I didn't really want to go too crazy with a lot of the detailing on the... Uh, over things of that nature so I didn't really do too much on that but um, you know I think it turned out pretty well um, and then installed this Best Buy over here no pun intended um, on my most recent video just kind of threw this together and uh, I think it turned out pretty good but I kind of wanted to do a little bit more detailing over here and having this Best Buy here kind of makes sense that there's something else in this area so what I want to do today is, uh, you know, kind of finish up some detailing over here and um, look into what we want to put in this area uh, maybe for the next episode. So, um, you know, I think really this area looks pretty good. So let's just kind of take a trip around so we can get ourselves into. Um, ah, yes, so rallies over here. Let's see if we can maybe spruce the rallies up just a tad. Um, for those of you who might not have a rallies, it's like a very small um, restaurant. It has drive throughs but mostly it's known for just like walking up and getting your food like that uh, at the little window on the front. Uh, so this is a very small checkers. Uh, there's Rally and Checkers. Rally actually, I think, the difference is, is Rally's has an actual drive-thru where uh, uh, Checkers is just the uh, just the walk-up. So that's what it is. I, I was trying to make some kind of small areas over here that uh, I don't have a Checkers sign. That's okay. Um, Trying to make some small areas around this uh, part of the mall because I made like this little outdoor play area over here, uh, which is an actual uh, in-game park, uh, which I thought looked kind of cool and worked with the environment, so I just kept it like that. And then threw in the Big Bite, uh, another in-game uh, restaurant that I think kind of looks cool. I have a nice mixture of real places and not real places. And then the trampoline park, which is also in-game. Um, just to bring some people around the mall area. Uh, this is another area that kind of want to finish up completely. You got to figure out what exactly you want to do. Also put the uh, driving range over here. Um, kind of like a top golf reference. Big issue in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, okay. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Probably won't 
mess with this too much more. Uh, one thing that, you know, kind of my, this is a, a lazy, somewhat sounding opinion, but, you know, one thing that I think that you can get to the point where you, you really put in so much extra that you kind of like make it where everything has to be so much extra. Um, and part of that is because I just don't like filling up. I don't, I don't like having something on every single block. Especially, like, this is supposed to be a suburb area. It's not supposed to be an area that's just a concrete jungle. Um, so, uh, let's see. The, the idea for this area is to keep it very suburban. Um, and that's what I'm trying to do. So yeah, this dressed it up just a tad, and let's see. And you might hear time to time my music skips. I'm using uh, SimCity 4's music playlist. For some reason, it kind of will skip at times. Probably just because I'm taxing my system a little too much. So yeah, that kind of added a little bit to this area. You know, nothing too fancy, um, but it looks good. I like it. So, um, all right. Um, also, if you're wondering, I'm using the uh, Realistic Warmer and Just Tropical 2.0 is the map theme of um, Malette's this Realistic Warmer, which I just downloaded and I really like it. It works perfect with my, uh, my city, so um, maybe we can put something in here. I wonder what we can put in here. The playground. Let's see if we have anything. Um, Darkish. I've been wanting to stick this Ferris wheel somewhere, but look how big it is. It's just, I think it's too big. Yeah, I just think that's too big for a mall area. Um, I'm using Park Cafe. Tell you what, let's just, okay, relax. Let's just plop, prop it, plop it down. This is one thing I don't like about these. Um, I don't like that tile, which I can take that tile away, let's see, man, okay, maybe, no, I won't mess with that right now, I know there's a way to do it, but, take those tiles out, but I'll just leave them on there. Uh, maybe we can do something fun with them. Now, over here I have the teacup, so why don't we... Actually, why don't we just put this whole thing over here. Good. Make it work. All right. Hopefully the audio isn't as crazy as it was in my first video. I don't know why I did that, but um, and then let's just move this guy. Whoop. I didn't realize that was two different assets there, two different props. All right, uh, let's this guy right here. That way they can form a line with those umbrellas. Yeah, that yeah, works. And then maybe a little bear spy we can do. Let's just do a little small right here, and then um, put a uh, tree in there. Gives it a little bit of character. There's the little things like that that you can add that is just what brings things looking to brings things to life, as people would say. Um, now I could throw some more of these tiles down, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. 
Um, so, and one thing too, that's, uh, maybe we should add here, I think a lot of people here, and you got the street here, it looks a little on the dangerous side. Um, how about we add a fence? there for you. safety barrier. Uh, a lot of kids will be running around here, so a little safety barrier there. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea just to go ahead and oh, oh. Let's turn off maybe. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and just, let's just do this. So I, I don't understand why it's not. Usually you can still see it. that to happen. Maybe I should actually, you know what, let's do this. Let's just take this part out, and then we'll just, woo what we're doing. Um, let's just click. Okay, and then we'll grab this little node. We're gonna just there. That way, okay, that's good, that way, Represents an entrance. Ooh, I got it. Um, I, know, ooh, that's not it. I know that I've uh, got some cool little pillars here. Maybe not on this one. Let's see. Uh, not quite as tall as that fence, but. coming through yet so we'll see we'll see how that works out it looks pretty good I'm tired of those kids laughing though um but yeah see that just adds a little character to it now at the same time now this area looks really bare you know i mean but add some character to that area um and it puts more cars here a lot of people are coming to visit these parks and stuff so that's cool um all right so that's just kind of an example of how i do some detailing on my maps um, if you like what you see, give me a like or whatever it is. I don't know. What do they usually say? 
Um, subscribe to my channel. Alright. Have a good one. Bye-bye.